What's up, Cereal Huts? Today we're gonna to talk about brand new Funfetti cereal. Now this cereal just came out recently, and as far as I can tell, it's not manufactured by one of the big cereal companies. You can see there's no logo for Kellogg's or General Mills or Post or Quaker, and it says here on the side of the box that it's manufactured by Hometown Food Company. That's just the big umbrella corporation that owns brands like Hungry Jack, Arrowhead Mills, and Pillsbury. Well, with Pillsbury, it's a little complicated. They only own the shelf-stable baking products of Pillsbury, and General Mills owns the rest of the products. But that means that Hometown Foods owns the Pillsbury Funfetti brand and all the delicious box cake mixes that they put out. Funfetti also puts out a bunch of frostings and a cookie mix too. Wait, I guess I shouldn't assume that you know what Funfetti is. So Pillsbury introduced this Funfetti cake mix back in 1989. It's basically just a regular vanilla cake mix with colorful sprinkles scattered throughout. It's vanilla cake with fun confetti mixed in. It's a very popular birthday cake choice and kids love it. So it only seems natural that you would try to capitalize off the popular cake mix and turn it into a cereal. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the people at Hometown Foods saw other popular birthday cake cereals and figured, hey, we could do that too. Let's just run through a few of the cereals that have used colorful sprinkles to lure kids in. One of the first ones that comes to mind is Circus Fun Cereal, which was released back in 1986. This cereal featured little pale yellow corn puffs with little sprinkles mixed into the pieces. But it wasn't a vanilla cake flavored cereal, this was a fruity flavored cereal. I really love this stuff, but if you wanna know more about it, you can go check out that video. Now in 1993, we got the awesome Sprinkle Spangle cereal. This was a favorite of mine. The pieces were just little crunchy star shapes, but they were covered with these delicious rainbow sprinkles. This one had a vanilla-y flavor to it. It was almost like a cake mix flavor. It was a delicious and great cereal. I wish they'd bring this one back too. In 2014, Cap'n Crunch released their Sprinkle Donut Crunch cereal. This one tasted really similar to the Sprinkle Spangles version, and the pieces were just little donuts with sprinkles on them. Now, I think this cereal's been discontinued, but it looks like it's coming back, at least in a little snack pouch form. In 2018, General Mills released a version of Cookie Crisp called Birthday Cake Cookie Crisp. The cereal on this one were little cookie discs with colorful sprinkles on them. This cereal had a nice vanilla cake batter flavor to it, and this is actually what I think Dunkaroo cereal will be if they ever end up releasing that one. Cookie Crisp is General Mills, and Dunkaroos is from Betty Crocker, which is also General Mills. So it just makes sense that they would reboot Birthday Cake Cookie Crisp under the name Dunkaroos. Now also in 2018, Malto Meal released two Cold Stone Creamery cereals, including this Birthday Cake Remix one. You can see the pieces in this cereal were just little corn puffs with sprinkles on them. And this cereal was criminally underrated in my opinion. They mostly just came in those big giant bags, but I'm lucky enough to get my hands on one of the boxes they made as well. Just another box to add to my collection. And then after that, Post, who owns Malto Meal, released the Timbit cereal in Canada in this birthday cake flavor. And you can see the pieces in this cereal are just the same corn puffs with the colorful sprinkles on them that they had in the birthday cake remix cereal. So now when you look at this box of Funfetti cereal, you can see the cereal pieces look just like the ones that were in that Timbits or Birthday Cake Remix cereal. I wonder if they just outsourced this cereal to the manufacturers who make the Multo Meal generic brand cereals. I mean, from the look of it, it seems pretty likely, right? Well, let's take a look at the back of the box here. At least they've included some fun games and activities. There's a maze here where you have to get to the cupcake, a word search where you have to find these 10 Funfetti related words. And then this picture says, find 15 silly things. That's a pretty broad term when I'd argue that everything in this picture is silly. Oh, and at the bottom here, it looks like there's also a Funfetti pancake mix. So I guess look for that if you want to spice up your pancake game. But it's time to open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of Funfetti cereal looks like. You can see the pieces are pretty much identical to the ones from Timbits or Cold Stone's Birthday Cake Remix. They're just little pale yellow puffs with an array of rainbow sprinkles. We'll hit them with some milk and give them a try. Yeah, it just tastes like that Timbits birthday cake cereal. Just like I expected, it's got a little vanilla cake flavor to it, but nothing too strong. It's a little too sweet for my taste, and it's not super rich either. It doesn't have that rich cake flavor to it. It definitely doesn't compare to eating a nice, moist slice of Funfetti cake. Some would say the best part of a Funfetti cake is the frosting. So I kind of wish they would have used marshmallows here in this cereal to mimic that frosting element. Probably would have put the sugar content way over the top though. It's not a bad cereal. Maybe this one will stick around longer on shelves than the other ones, but I'm never super impressed by birthday cake cereal. Just seems like there are so many other flavors we still haven't seen from cereal manufacturers, right? I mean, if you're gonna do a cake flavored cereal, why not carrot cake? or red velvet cake, or black forest cake with dark cherries. Ooh, that's one of my favorites. Anyway, I guess I should just be happy that more companies are getting into the cereal game. I think you should be able to find this stuff at Walmart and probably regular grocery stores soon. If you pick it up, let me know what you think. All right, that's gonna do it for Fun Fetty Cereal. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. How can you win? How can
can you win? You can't win. The game is fixed. So when they say, why do you burn down the community? Why do you burn down your own neighborhood? It's not ours. We don't own anything. We don't own anything. There's a social contract that we all have, that if you steal or if I steal, then the person who is the authority comes in and they fix the situation. But the person who fixes the situation is killing us. As far as I'm concerned, they could burn this to the ground. And it still wouldn't be enough. And they are lucky that what black people are looking for is equality and not revenge.